lights, camera, action. Okay. You're watching Food as Medicine TV, where we help you heal from the root cause using food as medicine and natural holistic lifestyle techniques. And today we're talking all about natural pain relief. Because as a society, we're really quick to reach in our real medicine cabinet for things like aspirin, acetaminophen, things like ibuprofen, because it takes away the pain right away. But the effects of using these, especially long term, are far reaching. The studies are really well documented that using these over the counters to manage your pain on a consistent basis can lead to liver failure, digestive issues. We work with leaky gut all the time, and it can lead to neurological problems, heart failure, and even stroke, because they can raise your blood pressure. So instead of automatically reaching for that type of pain relief, we have all of these other natural options that truly do work just as well, but they work twofold because not only do they help you with the acute inflammation that you may be feeling, but they also help lower the chronic inflammation. And how inflamed we are is how we live. So we wanna lower that inflammation set point so that you're not living in an inflamed state because that's what causes a whole nature of different types of diseases. So let's touch base on some essential oils. They're really easy to keep stocked, they're easy to use. These are my three favorite for pain management. We've got peppermint, which is a wonderful antispasmatic. It's awesome for stomach lining support. And if you ha are having any digestive issues, you know, whether you're taking a drop or rubbing a drop on your belly, Lavender oil, you can't go wrong. Putting a little bit on your temples, that's the perfect one for head pain, for tension headaches and things like that. And then the superstar here, I can't live without this, especially in pregnancy when I can't take any of this stuff, if I feel sick or the aches and pains of sleeping in pregnancy, is frankincense, boswellia, it does so much to cut the entire inflammation process while boosting the immune system. So those are the three essential oils you wanna keep on hand. Others that will go into more depth on the blog are gonna be clove oil, rosemary, and eucalyptus. There's just so much you can do with essential oils when you use them properly and dilute them properly. You can't use them willy-nilly because they're also potent. And I don't really, recommend ingesting uh, essential oils all that much unless you absolutely have been guided by a practitioner and know what you're doing. So now let's talk about what to stock in your actual medicine cabinet instead of these guys or in addition to these guys where you only use these if you absolutely need them. They're called NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories. And so these are natural anti-inflammatories. My favorite here that is just amazing is called Arnica. Arnica is one of the best things for pain relief and all of you need to have it stocked. It comes from the herb Arnica Montana and it's a homeopathic remedy. And this is great for sore muscles, for bruising, for swelling. And so you can get it in a gel form or you can take it orally. You would take this just like you take an ibuprofen or a Tylenol or you can get it in a spray form. So there's lots of ways that you, can, that you can use it. Really amazing, and you can feel the effects when you have any type of aches and pains like that. A lot of muscle aches and pains, a lot of neurological aches and pains come from a magnesium deficiency. And so in that case, pick up some magnesium oil spray and spray it wherever you have pain because it works transdermally. It bypasses the digestive system. It gets absorbed instantly and it really works wonders. I will tell you, in late stage pregnancy, so I'm 37 weeks pregnant right now, sleeping becomes really tough, right? Your back hurts, you're not sure which direction to go. So I wanted to take Tylenol so bad and I, I couldn't. I didn't want to 
um, you know, take the risk. So I made a paste that really worked. I used my regular lotion and I sprayed magnesium oil in the lotion and I squeezed some arnica gel in there and I added three to five drops of frankincense and made a paste and getting out of the shower, then I did, I used that as my lotion all over my body and it helped tremendously. But this translates to any types of aches and pains that you're feeling. These three will cover the root cause of all of them. So I would suggest trying that. Or you can take, if you don't have the magnesium oil, these are really inexpensive. It's a homeopathic cell salts, and they have all the trace minerals that the human body needs. So any type of neurological pain, or if you're having trouble sleeping and getting comfortable, the cell salts are gonna be really helpful. While we're on this topic here of the magnesium, getting an Epsom salt bath is not only great for your stress levels, but it's another transdermal way to get your magnesium stores refilled right away to soothe stress, and then you can add your essential oils to the bathtub. That's another wonderful way that you can get natural pain relief, but also natural stress relief. At The Whole Journey, we talk about turmeric, I feel like, all the time, but it's in so many of our shows because it's so powerful. There's a 2012 study proving the benefits of using turmeric and curcumin for rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis where they proven to lower joint pain and swelling tremendously in those types of autoimmune conditions. But it also keeps that inflammation set point low versus making it worse. A lot of people with rheumatoid arthritis will rely on the NSAIDs give themselves leaky gut, and then one autoimmune disease turns into two or three or four, right? So we want to heal from the root cause, add some black pepper at least three turns to your turmeric, whether you're cooking with it in oil or making golden milk out of it as a drink at night, because the pepper will increase the bioavailability of the curcumin, the active anti-inflammatory in turmeric. And then over here, we would not be food as medicine TV if we didn't talk about how to use other foods as medicine. And so chamomile tea is a really wonderful anti-inflammatory, as is bone broth and collagen. And so working these three into your diet on a regular basis, if you were to have a little bit of each one every day and you start using these natural remedies, I can pretty much guarantee it will really move the needle for natural pain relief. So I hope this helps, I hope you try it, and I hope you remain pain free. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you next time on Food is Medicine TV.